If you're in here and you're under 35-ish, I'm going to invite you. Can you come forward? I just, I just hear the Lord saying something. I believe there's a harvest of young people coming. If you're under 35-ish, come on down. Come on down. Come on. Give them a hand. Come on down. Come closer. Come right to the center. You guys got to spread out. Come down. I just hear the Lord saying, come on. There's a new generation. Listen to me. There's a new generation. New generation being risen up. Listen, that's going to affect every arena of life. Every arena of life. And I just want to apologize for the church that's made you think that this right here is all that it's about. Only if you stand behind a pulpit. Let me tell you, God's given some of you bigger pulpits than I've ever experienced, than most preachers have ever seen. And you're going to influence generations to come to Jesus in a creative, amazing way. Now's your time. You're not just chasing donkeys. You're chasing destiny. You're chasing the very God-ordained destiny He has for your life. So right where you're at, all, all the 35 issues and older, you come up close to them if you want. Reach, stretch your hands out to them. We're going to pray. Something happens when we bless. When we bless others, when we bless the next generation. I just hear the word of the Lord. How many of you hear God speaking right now? Every eye closed. Father, I pray for this generation. A called generation. Father, I pray against frustration. I pray against worry of the future. I pray against worry of their finances. Lord Jesus, I just thank you that you make a way. I even hear the Lord saying, there's some here that are getting accepted into colleges and you're wondering, how am I going to afford it? God's saying, I will make a way. I will make a way. I will make a way. So Father, I just pray, even today, as they commit their lives to you, Father, say, I'm all in. I'm all in with you. I'm all in, Father. I will chase you. I will chase your word. I will chase what God has to say for it above everything else. Lord, I thank you for the deliverance that's coming. Listen to me. I just, I said, it's funny. I don't know how that story came out about me I'm getting in trouble, going to jail. But I just hear the Lord saying, listen to me. You know, I know wounds from family are hard. I'm speaking to everybody here and everybody out there and everybody online. I know it's hard when you don't have a parent, a dad that wants nothing to do with you. Maybe been raised, raised in the least ideal situation. I'm going to tell you why I got in trouble that day and got thrown in jail. About six months before, my dad, who had been gone, came home. And my little brother at the time, I don't know, was three or four. My dad had an anger issue. So he decided to, now remember, this is B.C. before I was a Christian. He decided to pick up my brother from one arm and he started hitting him. And my brother was swinging like a pendulum. Now, these days, I, you know, I... I had a switchblade on me, which I shouldn't have had. And I went and started fighting my dad. And I ended up getting the police called on me. I took off defending my brother. And I remember when I got saved, the very first thing God dealt with me was forgiveness. He said, will you forgive even if nobody's asked you for forgiveness? And I did. I said, Lord, I forgive him. And I shared just a few weeks ago, my dad just called me recently, asked me, told me through hard things he's going through. I was able to pray for him. I've been praying blessing over them. I believe he's going to get saved. I'm going to believe his new family is going to be saved. I believe he's going to be in heaven with me, eternity with me. But I'm saying all that to say, whatever hang up you have, whatever wounds you're carrying, 
God can heal you. Don't let anything hold you back from what God has for you. So, Father, I just pray freedom. I pray forgiveness. I pray for deliverance. Lord, I pray even forgiveness for those maybe in the crowd or online who are saying, watching and saying, that was me. I mistreated another generation. I, I hurt people I love. Father God, I believe that you're just going to bring restoration all the way around. I believe a new way of thinking, a new way of walking, a new form of expectation. Lord Jesus, I believe even scales are coming off of eyes and people are going to move in the direction you have. Lord Jesus, depression is going, anxiety is going, addiction to porn, to drugs, to substance going, Father God, and you're bringing freedom in the house. Salvation is in the house. Salvation is in the house. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. Let's worship the Lord.